Hi, this is Darren Marlia, CTO and founder of SDM Software, and thank you for watching this video on combating group policy object sprawl. I'm going to talk a little bit about the problem of GPO sprawl and then uh, show an example of how our powerful group policy exporter product can help uh, solve this problem, help make it easier for you to uh, optimize and consolidate your group policy environment. So what's the impact of GPO sprawl? Well, GPO sprawl causes a lot of different problems. One of them is reduced desktop performance. Simply put, more the more group policy objects that you have, the more redundant settings or duplicate or conflicting settings you have, the longer GP takes to process. And, and users end up having to wait when their machine starts up or when the, when the user logs on. Uh, group policy can cause delays and that's the, the thing you want to avoid. The other uh, obviously important factor is that because group policy is used in a lot of situations to secure and lock down servers and desktops, it's important to really know what all the policies are that are applying to a given system. And the more uh, GPOs you have, the more that they've sort of been um, messed with over time, added to, uh, changed, moved around, um, the more chances there are that what's actually happening on the end system is not what you had intended. And then finally, um, just a greater chance for outages. As you probably have experienced, there it is possible to make group policy changes that can cause outages to your users on the desktop or on servers. And uh, knowing exactly what's in place is uh, is a kind of a key part of uh, preventing outages as a result of group policy objects. So if you make a change to a GPO or you make a change to a security filter, the last thing you want is for that to cause an outage to your servers. So what's the challenge? Well, you've got tens, or hundreds, or even thousands of GPOs in your environment. They've grown up over time, and you've got no idea where they are, how they're being used, what's in them, no good and easy way to report on things like unused GPOs, duplicate GPO settings, conflicting GPO settings, um, any number of different things that you just, is there's no easy way to get insight with the native GPMC tools. Um, so that's where we come in. How do you figure out how to clean up and consolidate some of these GPOs? We developed a group policy reporting pack, which is now in its 2.0 version, to provide that unprecedented visibility into your group policy environment. We've got GPO Compare 2.5, which provides the ability to compare settings across up to four live or backed up GPOs. And then the product that I'm going to show you in this video, GPO Exporter 1.5, provides that ability to really inventory settings across all GPOs, either in a single or in multiple domains, looking for redundancies, conflicts, just having an, a, a database, if you will, to be able to search across all settings to see where settings are being implemented. And what I'm going to really show you in this video is the uh, powerful set of canned reports that we've implemented to really make this cleanup and consolidation problem a lot easier. So let's dive into the video. Okay, so now I'm going to dive into a demo of the GPO Exporter product. I've created other videos that introduce the new functionality in GPO Exporter 1.5, but in this video I'm going to focus on the canned reporting that we provide that really can help with that GPO sprawl problem. The uh, report portal that we provide has a set of, as I said, canned reports that we have built that allow you to do quick analysis of your group policy environment. I can pick a report such as conflicting settings, run the report, and what I get is literally a set of policy settings that are inconsistent along with their links across multiple GPOs within my domain. It scans the entire domain, looks for settings that are different, shows you where they're linked, what the status of the links are, and lets you quickly and easily hone in on possible conflicting settings. If we move down the list of the reporting, you'll see that there's also a duplicate settings report. If I run the duplicate settings report, it works similar to the conflicting settings, but it's looking for settings that are essentially the same. So it'll show the GPO, in this case Vista GPO, this particular path, which is a uh, printer connections share, the value, which is the same across both of these GPOs, the 2008 GPO and the Vista GPO, 
but then it shows me where this Vista GPO is linked. In this case, it's linked to the Vista test OU, and the link is enabled, whereas this other one is not even linked anywhere, meaning it's not even in use. So I can quickly and easily point out settings that are duplicate and either may be causing additional processing time that's not really necessary or maybe just not even in use altogether and adding complexity to my environment. If I move down the list to the unlinked GPOs report, it simply brings up a list of all the GPOs that are not linked anywhere. These GPOs are obviously good targets for getting rid of because they're not being used at the moment. Similarly, empty GPOs lets me return a list of all of the GPOs that actually have no settings left in them and where they're linked. And in this case, I can quickly and easily find GPOs that may be linked somewhere. In this case, the custom ADM test GPO is linked to two locations, the test OU and the service accounts OU. In the test OU, the link is disabled. In service accounts, it's enabled. But in either case, the GPO is empty and probably isn't being used anymore. Moving down the list, the GPO status lets me return a report that shows GPOs that have the status flag set something other than the norm. So all settings disabled means this GPO is essentially not being used. Computer configure settings disabled means that the computer side of the GPOs aren't being used. And we can go all the way down to the end of the report to see uh, user configuration settings that are disabled. If I bring up the next report, this one shows me GPOs that have WMI filters on them and what those filters are, at least the description of the filters. And then finally, I can get a GPO report by policy area. This shows me which GPO policy areas have been implemented across all GPOs. So if I quickly and easily use this to essentially find which GPOs implement a particular policy area, it's important to note with that with all of these custom reports, you have the ability to export them to Excel, PDF, or Word, or of course print them to get them into other formats to present them to management or to use in other situations to be able to analyze this data. So there's a lot you can do with this uh, report portal feature within the GPO exporter tool in terms of being able to get to the um, end of your GPO sprawl and consolidate and optimize your GPOs to prevent uh, unwanted desktop performance, poor desktop performance, security issues, or even availability issues in your environment. Thanks for watching this demo and feel free to visit www.sdmsoftware.com slash products to download evaluation versions of GPO Exporter or any of our products. Thank you.